Assalamualaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And uh, we are reached on the second last lecture, Alhamdulillah. And uh, this lecture is about the last topic of the course, Statistical Inference 1, uh, Bayes Estimator. And under this topic, we will discuss uh, computing of posterior distributions, loss function, risk function, decision function, and the Bayes estimators and uh, admission ability. As we have seen that uh, in the previous uh, treatment of point estimation, we have assumed that our random sample came from some density f of x theta, where the function f of x was assumed known. We have also assumed that theta was some fixed to unknown to us point in some real world situations which the density f of x theta represents, there is uh, often additional information that, about theta. The only assumption which we have so far made about theta is that it can take on values in the sample space. For example, the experimenter may have uh, evidence that theta itself act as a random variable for which he may be able to postulate a realistic uh, PDF. The equation in this case will be, and the question in this case will be, how can this uh, additional information about theta be used in our estimator or estimation problems? To examine this problem, we will assume in addition to the assumption that our random sample came from a density f of x theta that the unknown parameter theta is the value of some random variable, say a ta or some other variable, we will still be interested in estimating some function of theta from tau of theta. If ta is a random variable, it has a distribution that it be g of theta denoted the CDF of theta and g of theta denoted the density of theta, we as will assume that their functions contain no unknown parameters. And if we assume that the distribution of theta is known, we have additional information. So the question is, how can this additional information be used in estimation? From here, the concept of uh, posterior distribution or came so we can say okay, whenever we want to indicate that the parameter theta is the value of a random variable, we shall write density of x as f of x given theta. In case of conditional uh, probability instead of f of x theta, and we should note that f of x given theta is conditional density. It is the density of x given theta is equal to theta. The density of, of x given theta is also written as f of x theta is equal to theta when x, uh, when x is given. So if we introduce uh, some examples relating to Bayesian estimation, we will go through some examples of Bayes information inference. Bayesian inference. In most of those, we will use the following trick in order to find the posterior distribution without calculating the denominator in Bayes theorem, who is generally a difficult uh, integral. So a trick for finding posterior distribution is that we integrate f of x given theta and pi of theta d of theta is independent of theta and we write that if f theta given x is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma square. For sigma square known, then probability of theta given x is uh, proportional to the expectation of theta minus mu whole square over two sigma square of minus is proportional to the exponent uh, exponential of minus theta square minus two theta mu over two sigma square. If theta given x is normally distributed with gamma of alpha beta, tending to pi theta given x is proportional to exponent of minus theta theta and theta 
power alpha minus one and if and if theta given x is proportion is uh, distributed as beta uh, variable or beta distribution with alpha or beta and pi theta given x is proportional to theta power alpha minus one and one minus theta power beta minus one. So one approach is to work out uh, f when x is given theta and pi of theta in terms of theta and check with the above or other known distributions. So after this way, inference problem is that uh, given a database set D x1 up to xn of random samples, Bayes rule is that the probability of given theta, uh, theta given D is equal to probability of theta, D given theta into probability of theta over probability of D. Probability of D given theta is the likelihood function of theta and probability of theta is the prior probability of theta and probability of theta given D is the posterior distribution over theta. Computing posterior distribution is known as the inference problem, but probability of D is equal to the integration of probability of D theta D with respect to theta. This integral can be very high dimensional and uh, difficult to compute. So if we go through the discussion of Bayesian statistic or the Bayesian estimation, we may come through with the absolute loss function and absolute loss function is the K into T of theta is equal to absolute value of T minus theta. Expected value will have the form K T expected of K T theta and we will take it expectation and the other side we will integrate it with respect to D on the limits of minus infinity to uh, infinity. Uh, then we get the values of the base statistic or the base estimation as an absolute loss function. So in the loss function approach, first we define the concept of mean squared error, loss and risk. So if we define uh, the loss function, we define a statistic T, B an estimator of tau of theta, the mean square error of the estimator T is defined as the expected of T minus tau of theta whole square and is denoted by mean square error of T of theta. So we will take uh, the uh, expectation, expected value of t minus tau of theta or k minus uh, k of t theta or t minus theta is equal to expected of t x1 up to xn minus tau of theta whole square. And we will integrate it with respect to the random variables where f for pdf, f of x theta is the PDF from which the random sample was selected, it can be shown that mean square error of theta will be is equal to variance of t plus tau of theta minus expected of t whole square. And uh, the term tau of theta minus t of t is called the basic of the estimator t and can be either positive, negative, or zero. If expected of t is equal to tau of theta, and if t is an unbiased estimator of tau of theta, then mean scale error t of theta is equal to variance of t. And mean scale error of an estimator is used as a measure of the closeness of the estimator to tau of theta. The mean and is called the mean absolute deviation and denoted by expected of t minus tau of theta. So this, this concept is uh, sh uh, shown in, this, uh, in these equations and um, the um, value on the basis of an observed random sample from some density function, then we may call the value of some estimator t is equal to t of x1 up to xn as a decision and call the estimator itself a decision function. So for the Bayesian statistic estimation or finding that absolute loss function, we define first a statistic, 
then we degraded with respect to its limits and with respect to the parameter theta and then we find its values and the deviation that we find out of this function with respect to t and if we equate it to the zero then we can get its value so the zero one loss function is defined as k of t theta zero and one and if t minus theta is less than or equal to b or one if t minus theta is greater than or equal to b and the expected value of the loss function has the uh, equation that expected of t th k theta kt theta is equal to the integration from limits minus infinity to infinity with respect to d of theta and it is also shown in the graphs that the prior beta distribution with the mean 0.5 has this curve which is showing normality and the likelihood the normally estimator uh, with n10 and z is equal to 1 has the this peak distribution that is the post uh, likelihood but normally distribution and in the third and the last bottom graph posterior beta distribution is shown with the help of graph so in both d, d beta theta when 6 is given and at 14 probability of d when theta is given and probability of theta when 5 or 5 is given. So posterior prediction is defined as the by of new based on observed y. And the posterior distribution is p y modulus given y is equal to double integral p y modulus given mu and sigma square into probability of mu sigma square when y is given du or d sigma square. So by these uh, formulas, we will find out the predictive distribution of posterior prediction and also its analytical solution. So we will go through all these methods and methodologies inshallah in the class. So if we see the post, how to find out and how to calculate the posterior distribution. So first step we have to follow is that we will find prior distribution construction of annual maximum storm event series, then selection of the probability density function. Then in the step two, what we do, we find out the storm transposition uh, and likelihood function and uh, storm transposition. Then after storm transposition, we find out determination of the likelihood function. And in step three, we find out the Bayesian update of the PMV that is, means that Bayesian application to drive the posterior distribution PMP update and uh, this is all uh, thank you class I hope this uh, these concepts will be uh, help you to find out the little bit logic what is behind the posterior distribution so in the class, we will go through the posterior distribution and base estimator and also the loss function that uh, and the squared error and the absolute errors and the risk function. So the average loss is called the risk function and inshallah we in the class that is held on Sunday and uh, it is our last topic of the syllabus. So, and the exams are on her. Thank you and best of luck and Allah Hafiz. May God bless you all.